Hey, look, I'm here. And you get to skip the line. You don't even have to be famous. You're not famous. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 spokespeople companies are ashamed of. Do you understand why people are outraged? I understand why. It's becoming what's known as an international locked mess. I was just overwhelmed. I, I was in a state of shock. For this list, we'll be looking at various spokespeople who have caused controversy throughout the years and drawn the ire of companies they represent. Would you allow these people to continue representing your brand? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Ellen DeGeneres. If you're watching because you love me, thank you. If you're watching because you don't love me, welcome. <laughs> While this comedian's reputation has been tarnished in recent years, she's nevertheless left behind an incredible legacy, which includes the famous Oscars selfie from the 2014 ceremony. The event was hosted by Samsung and it saw DeGeneres wielding a Galaxy Note 3. In one instance, she got together with a group of famous actors and had Bradley Cooper take a selfie with the phone. I didn't get the whole thing, obviously. I was just sitting there and I just thought, oh, let me take it to both of you, remember? Because right. I thought, oh, they can't frame it. I was right. like, it's odd that you can't frame it. And then you kept getting out of the picture. <laughs> I was like, no, you come back. This selfie became the most retweeted post ever at the time. But throughout the show, DeGeneres' personal Twitter account was being updated with an iPhone. It's possible that this was a PA posting on behalf of the host, but it still doesn't look very good for someone publicly promoting a different company. Oh yeah, and they're gonna give you all a get a get <laughs> Number nine, Ashton Kutcher. Back in 2012, Ashton Kutcher helped personally develop a $1.5 million advertisement for Pop Chips. It saw the famous actor inhabiting various characters, including a biker, a hippie, and controversially, a Bollywood producer. Kutcher was equipped in brownface and spoke in a fake Indian accent, drawing widespread ire. Many called the advertisement racist, and tech entrepreneur Anil Dash criticized the commercial for placing the joke on Kutcher's accent and appearance rather than any legitimate punchline. The ad was quickly pulled and Pop Chips offered an apology, stating, quote, it was never intended to stereotype or offend anyone. Your waiting room's like a freak show. Are we all in the same category? Number eight, Ryan Lochte. During the 2016 Summer Olympics, swimmer Ryan Lochte became embroiled in what is now known as Lochte Gate. Lochte claimed that he'd been robbed at gunpoint while in Rio, but it was later revealed that he had paid off security guards after vandalizing a gas station. Police say the swimmers kicked down the door, then vandalized the bathroom inside. Then those four swimmers continued on here back towards their taxi, and at this point, they allegedly ripped a poster off the wall before being confronted by those security guards. A later USA Today investigation painted a grayer version of events, confirming that Lochte had exaggerated his claims, but also casting doubt on Rio authorities. The first version of the story you told Ryan was much more about the mean streets of Rio. Yeah. And the version and we're hearing now is much more about a negotiated settlement mm -hmm. to cover up some dumb behavior. And that's why I'm taking full responsibility for it. Regardless, the damage had been done. Four sponsors immediately dropped Lochte for his exaggerated claims, including Ralph Lauren, Speedo USA, Cineron Candela, and Airweave. Forbes estimated that Lochte lost upwards of $10 million in the ordeal. I take full responsibility. I'm human. I made a mistake, a very big mistake, and it's something that I learned from, and I know that that will never happen again. Number seven, Michael Vick. I don't know how many times I gotta say, I gotta say it. I mean, it was wrong. I feel, you know, I feel tremendous hurt behind what happened. Throughout the early 2000s, Michael Vick revolutionized the quarterback position in football, set various records, and was generally considered one of the best players of the modern era. Vick under pressure, straight up the middle, touchdown! Place where he can make a play. 
That's what makes Michael Vick so incredibly special. Unfortunately, his legacy was permanently tarnished in 2007 when authorities found evidence of an illegal dogfighting ring on his Virginia property. The collective picture was a very bad one. There were tremendous concerns on my part about the severity of the crime, the effect on the animals, as well as the attitude of the individuals involved in this operation. Vic spent nearly two years in prison and lost millions in dropped sponsorships. Numerous companies distanced themselves from Vic, including Nike, who claimed, quote, we consider any cruelty to animals inhumane and abhorrent. Later, Nike would stand by Tiger Woods during his infidelity scandal of late 2009. When Woods won the Masters 10 years later, the company gained $4 billion in value. Many doubted we'd ever see it, but here it is. The return to glory. Number six, Paula Dean. So I'll ask it to you bluntly, are you a racist? No. No, I'm not. In the summer of 2013, Paula Deen's empire crumbled when a former restaurant manager sued the celebrity chef for racial and sexual discrimination. During the resulting deposition, Dean admitted to using racial slurs in the past. When asked if she had ever used an especially offensive word, Dean responded, quote, Yes, of course, but it's been a very long time. Dean has since apologized for her words. I beg for your forgiveness. While the suit was dismissed with prejudice, Dean lost numerous sponsorships in the public controversy. Book publishers and cooking programs dropped Dean, as did companies like Walmart, Target, Sears, and JCPenney. The list goes on and on and on. She lost millions of dollars because she just failed to handle this in a savvy way. She might have been able to survive this scandal with some of her empire intact if she really had been more contrite from the get-go and it just didn't appear that way. But controversy sells, and two of Dean's cookbooks shot to the number one and number two spots on the Amazon bestsellers list. Number five, Oscar Pistorius. A disabled person running with able-bodied athletes on the biggest stage in the world, incredible. Oscar is really big in global Terms. One of the most famous Olympians of the modern era, Oscar Pistorius was born with a congenital defect and lost both of his feet at 11 months old. He subsequently became a professional athlete and was the first double-leg amputee to compete at the Olympic Games. Sponsors, including Nike and Oakley, lined up to work with Pistorius, and he had accumulated $2 million in sponsorships by 2012. Anything else you want to tell me? But just six months after competing at the 2012 London Games, he shot his girlfriend after allegedly mistaking her for an intruder. He was originally sentenced to prison on charges of culpable homicide, but this has since been overturned to murder, and Pistorius is serving a 15-year sentence in Adderidge Correctional Center. The accused has punished himself and will punish himself for the rest of his life far more than any court of law can punish him. Number four, O.J. Simpson. The superstar in rent a car. Hey, the superstar in rent a car. You know it. Few athletes have suffered a greater fall from grace. Simpson was an incredibly popular and record setting football player throughout the 70s, and he still holds the single season record for running yards per game with an average of 143.1. Arnold James Simpson had that shine. The sun hit him and there was this thing about him because he really was that great. He also found enormous success with rental car company Hertz, starring in a series of commercials that saw Simpson running through an airport. This is widely regarded as one of the most successful celebrity endorsements of all time. But of course, Simpson's legacy was permanently tarnished once he was tried for the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman. Even though he was famously acquitted, Simpson's career as a public figure was over. It was almost like an out-of-body experience. I had a, a feeling of numbness. Did this really happen? Number three, Lance Armstrong. Everybody wants to know what I'm on. What am I on? I'm on my bike, busting my ass six hours a day. What are you on? 
Arguably the most famous cyclist to ever live, Lance Armstrong became an internationally renowned figure while winning a record seven straight Tour de France titles between 1999 and 2005. It was a true inspiration story, not only for the incredible feat of athleticism, but because Armstrong was a cancer survivor. His story was the stuff of feel-good sports movies. I had this sense of a guy who just wouldn't be beaten, who through the force of his will and his personality became almost somebody different. And while he faced doping allegations throughout much of his career, he continuously denied the use of performance-enhancing drugs. Unfortunately, his longtime use of drugs was finally confirmed in 2012 by the United States Anti-Doping Agency. Yes or no, did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. Yes or no, was one of those banned substances EPO? Yes. He was subsequently stripped of all endorsements and titles, and was banned from competing in professional sports. Number 2. Jared Fogel for nearly two decades, Jared Fogel served as the spokesperson for Subway after attributing his dramatic weight loss to their sandwiches. He's looking good to show you the way. His name is Jared and he'll lead you to Subway. Fogel once weighed 425 pounds, but lost over half that while studying at Indiana University, reportedly with the help of Subway and good old-fashioned exercise. He quickly became an inspiration and a successful pitchman for the company, sharing how he dropped 245 pounds on the Subway diet of two sandwiches a day. Shortly after, Fogel was hired by Subway and starred in over 300 commercials over the next 15 years. This is real chicken with fresh veggies and freshly baked bread. It tastes awesome, too. Now that's how chicken should be. This all came crashing down in 2015 when he faced multiple charges involving minors. He's currently serving 15 years in Federal Correctional Institution, Englewood. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some not-so-honorable mentions. Vince Offer The sham wow guy was arrested in 2009 after a physical altercation with a sex worker. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. Gilbert Gottfried Fired from Aflac after joking about the 2011 Japanese earthquake. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Bill Cosby One of the first black spokespeople in entertainment, Bill Cosby enjoyed a historic run with Jell-O. Mom, you know how the kids love Jell-O pudding, and you know it's made with fresh milk. So it's wholesome, and you haven't made jello pudding for them since last night. Last what? He began working with the company in 1974, and he stuck with them for multiple decades and generations. By 2002, it had become the longest celebrity endorsement in history, and in 2011, the Advertising Hall of Fame awarded him the President's Award for contributions to advertising. The box says fat-free, but my taste buds say it's too good to be fat-free, and I believe my taste buds, I've known them longer. However, stock in Cosby's name dropped substantially in 2014 amidst the dozens of sexual misconduct and other allegations. And in 2018, he was sentenced to 3 to 10 years in prison. He was released in 2021 amidst violations of his due process rights. Yes, there will be no paper conviction, but he will always have to live with the fact that 12 jurors looked him in the eye and said guilty, guilty, guilty. Regardless, we think his partnership with Jell-O is over. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.